once you hear the true story of Alan Turing, you're, you say, how did I not know that before? That's, that's amazing. Um, how, how come he's not on the cover of every history book? How come it's not his face on the currency? I've been incredibly fortunate with the people I've had the opportunity to work with throughout my career, uh, from TV and to film. But when I read this script, I was like, this is just an amazing story and amazingly written by Graham. And then I said, I want, I, I, I'd love to go in and meet them. This would be incredible, you know? And they went, okay, do you know who's in it? I was like, no. They went, Ben Dick Cumberbatch. I was like, oh, that's brilliant. Keira Knightley. I was like, yeah, wow. Then they went through and they were like, Mark Strong, Charles Dance, Matthew Good, Rory Kinnear. I was like, do they, maybe, do they want me in it? The role of John Carcross for me was incredibly appealing because he was such a complex character. He made very, very decisive decisions in how he felt he was going to help the war effort. And a lot of people found them quite controversial. I like the idea of getting inside this man's mind where he genuinely felt that what he could do for the war effort was to become a spy, to become a Soviet double agent. To work with Benedict was an absolute privilege. He's one of the hardest working actors that I have ever encountered. His attention to detail, even in relation to his costuming, was impeccable. I think Joan Clark is an amazing real-life character who you could make a whole other movie about. You could make a whole other three movies about Joan Clark. In some way, when she got to Bletchley, when the war broke out, in the midst of this sort of apocalyptic scenario of, 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 of England under the bombing, Joan was finally, for the first time in her life, able to make use of her intelligence. Within the movie, Alan Turing's homosexuality is an, an, an integral part because this man was forced to keep secrets not only for the government but also keep a secret about himself from everyone he knew. I think that he was able to do the wonderful things he was able to do not in spite of the fact that he was an outsider from the society around him but precisely because he was an outsider from the society around him. I think the movie also makes people reflect on what Alan Turing could have achieved if he wasn't prosecuted for his sexuality, put on a course of treatment that ultimately saw him take his own life. What amazing things could that amazing mind have thought up, given the chance and given more time? We were all sort of a family. I mean, we felt in a lot of ways like the, the people in Bletchley Park, like the Codebreakers in Hut 8. We were kind of crammed together for eight weeks, um, sort of freezing half to death in November, um, uh, south of London, just sort of all hands on deck, um, making our sort of small, intimate film. And we were all there for the same reason. We realized very early on in the rehearsal process that we were all there to tell this story and we all wanted to do it justice. So there was an incredible focus when we came to do that as, as a whole unit, not just the cast, but the entire crew as well. I hope audiences, when they walk away from this movie, know more about one of the greatest minds that ever existed. They realize the terrible injustices that he suffered. I hope that they think twice about discrimination and ultimately, I think people will walk away with a, with a profound sense of gratitude to an amazing man and one of the forefathers of the digital age. I hope that people can watch this movie and, and see a little bit of themselves in Alan Turing. I think that his legacy is so tremendous and deserves to be known by more people, deserves to be understood by, by more people uh, than it has been historically. Um, I think that um, Alan Turing was so responsible for so much in the world that we enjoy now and I just hope people can see this film and celebrate the legacy of a truly unique man and a truly once-in-a-generation mind.